hindi porket naglagay ka ng pera sa negosyo. In fact, Marv, I've seen a lot of people lose money because of that mindset. Lagyan lang natin ng pera, lalaki yan. O, hindi totoo yan. Kung wala kang abilidad, mawawala yan. Money is useless if you don't have the ability to grow it. It's the same. It's the same. Ako, ako I always tell this to, to, to uh, would-be stock traders. Sabi ko, si Marvin, magaling yan kasi he grew his ability. Hindi porkit magiging pasok ka ng stocks. Sabi mo, now the, now, now the money is in the stock business. Hindi para sa lahat. Para sa may abilidad, it is true. So the money you put in stocks will not necessarily grow if you don't have ability. So para sa akin, money will not beget money. Hmm. Only the person with ability will beget money. The great entrepreneurs, they create their product. They don't look for something to copy. And yun ang problema natin. We always copy. We want to copy kung ano ginagawa ng iba. Hmm. So pag nawala ng negosyo, iba, wala ka rin negosyo. People might be saying that, paano yun? Wala akong capital eh. Uh, money begets money. Nakailangan sobrang daming pera so that I get to also uh, earn more. Uh, what's, your, what's your take on that? Money begets money. It's one of the most foolish teachings I was told. Let me let me let me let me share that Marva. You know when I, when I was with on I when I was with the distributor of HP. Sabi sa akin nung nung vice president nung presidente, sabi niya sa akin, "Don't you work hard and then you save a lot because it is easy to make money when you have money." Naniwala naman ako, Mar, 'di ba? When I became a farmer, I would always look for money to invest in vegetable operation in big way. So ang project ko noon ang lalaki. Okay? And then I would always lose I would always lose money when something happened. There's a disease, there's no market. So because I invested a lot, kung natalo ako, malaki na wawala. Okay? And then I, st- I understood the ways of the plot. Dapat magsimula ka ng maliit. Bakit? Kasi wala akong ability. The re- the, I realized the reason why I was losing money was because I did not have the ability of the farmer. So this is now my belief, Marv. Money is useless if you don't have the ability to grow it. It's the same. It's the same. Ako, ako I always tell this to, to, to uh, would-be stock traders. <laughs> Sabi ko, si Marvin, magaling yan kasi he grew his ability. Hindi porkit magiging pasok ka ng stocks. Sabi ko, now, now, now the money is in the stock business. Hindi para sa lahat. Para sa may abilidad, it is true. So the money you put in stocks will not necessarily grow if you don't have ability. So para sa akin, money will not beget money. Hmm. Only the person with ability will beget money. ba? Diba? Money plus ability will grow it. But money on its own we will not. Can I share with you uh, what, what, uh, the history of money begets money? Mm. I realized when I was studying, diba, in the past, they were bartering. So they would barter corn and chicken. And then mommy, they were bartering in a malalayong town. So the easiest way to pay is cow. Because yung kalab- yung baka kaya maglakad. Eh, diba? So nagbayad ka ng baka. Okay? Nanganak yung baka. So, nanganak yung pera mo. Ang pera nila noon, baka. Kaya sabi nila, money begets money. Ang baka pwede mga... Hindi naman pera. But money is just a representation of a product. Yung product pa rin ang gagawa ng pera, not money. So, that's another thing I want people to understand. Hindi porket naglagay ka ng pera sa negosyo. In fact, Marv, I've seen a lot of people lose money because of that mindset. Lagyan lang natin ng pera, lalaki yan. Oh, hindi totoo yan. Kung wala kang abilidad, mawawala yan. So, in the hand of a prudent person, money will go. A prudent person like Marvin Germo. <laughs> <laughs> Pero, in the hand of a fool, money will disappear. Because money is passive. It has no life. It cannot grow on its own. Okay? Money can only beget money in the hand of a person with good abilities. And that's what I really want to help people understand. Sana, when they go into business, 
focus on growing ability because it will grow your money. That's a very good point. Not so that uh, so I'll, I'll ask this question also as a counterbalance. Sa lahat mga videos na ginagawa ko, that there's so many people now rushing into Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies because it's like the new thing. It's the new wave. Uh, what's your word of advice, word of caution also for them so that at least this video gives a balance also for sa lahat mga pro Bitcoin videos that I I would actually do. You know, recently I I wrote something about Bitcoin. I don't know if you read that, right? Sabi nila, oh, si si Elon Musk bought 1.5 billion. We should all go Bitcoin. So sabi ko lang, yun din nagin ni Elon Musk sobra yon eh. Meaning mas kimo wala nya yon. He had 800 billion. It, 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 it's loose change for him. So sa akin lang, do not do not just think na maglagay ako sa sigurado ko. I believe Bitcoin is a valid, tradable instrument that where you can make money. I believe it is not a scam. Bakit? Kasi you you decide when to how to make money. Hindi paglinagay ko sigurado. So ang scam is naglagay ako ng pera sigurado yun. Scam yun. Sa Bitcoin hindi sigurado yun kasi umaakit baba siya. So you need to be a good trader. Now ito, ito ang belief ko. If you go into Bitcoin, you still study it. You study it and grow your ability. Ano grow your ability? Minsa pagdahan dahan invest a little, labas invest a little. Study study the trending like any stock, di ba? Study it, okay? It's a it's it's a valid tradable instrument para sa akin. Now, will it make everybody rich? I don't know. I don't think so. Will it will it change the fiat the the fiat money? I don't know why. Now, ito stand ko man, Mark. How can we change the fiat when there's 4,000 bitcoins? Ibig mo sabihin, magkakaroon tayong exchange rate sa bawat bitcoin? So at this point, hindi pa siya pampalit. Iyon e, ang feeling ko. Hindi pa siya pampalit ng traditional money. But it is a tradable instrument where people can make money. Okay? However, unless you have the ability that matches bitcoin, you might lose money. Diba? Like for example, ako Marv, I'm a person pag nag-invest ako, hindi ko babantayan yan. I will lose money sa Bitcoin. Pag lumaro na yan, mawala na ako ng pera. So I just decided, I'm just a better entrepreneur. They have this mentality that uh, doon lahat pumupunta, it's easy, it's easy money and which is not which is not the case eh. Uh, I like what you said that uh, it's in who's owning it, who's holding it. Uh, nandun yung return, nandun yung ROI ng I always tell in business, business is not about the product you sell. It's about the person who sells it. Okay, parang parang sa farming, no? Farming is not about the, the plant you grow. It's about the farmer who grows it. Ang kita because of the farmer. Sa negosyo, ang kita because of the person. It's always the person. So ito problema ko rin. Marap, ang dami ko narinig ng Bitcoin, ng condo, ng gansan. Meron akong kausap eh. Hirap na hirap sa cash. Kasi daw naka-overinvest siya. Sabi ko, bakit ka nag-overinvest? Tinumaan siya ng pandemic, naka-overinvest siya, wala siyang cash. Sabi niya, kasi Sir Dong, FOMO. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Di ba? Fear of missing out. So, hindi siya nakahanda. So, yung may, may mga ganun, gaya-gaya. Eh, ako yun, Marv, huwag ka gaya-gaya. Ako, feeling, ang gusto ko sabihin sa mga tao, you know, know your strength. I do not have the strength of Randall Chongson and Marvin Germo. They have their own strength. I have my own strength, di ba? Para mar pag nag-farming ka baka you lose money. Pero pag nag-stock nag-stock ako, I might lose money. I'm not saying I will not invest in stock. I'm just saying that's your strength. This is my strength. We need to capitalize on our strength. You raise a very good point no? and sobrang daming nagtatanong nito sa akin and I I want to get your uh, at least what what your words will be for them. As in successful business owners already, they they have a really they have a really really good business model already. But yun yun lang yung temptation na di naman temptation. But when you have excess, uh, the temptation is to put it outside your business. So I guess my question is, uh, you're very good at whatever you're doing, your business. You have a rental property, etc. When do you draw the line that? Eto, dapat yung kita ko na to ibabalik ko pa rin sa negosyo ko or when do you draw the line ay hindi pang stocks na to or pang mutual funds na to or pang bitcoin na to or pang other investments na to when the business does not need it anymore ano ba the business is so mature that it continue to make money hmm. di ba when it continue to make money parang parang SM yan 
when they, the mall was so so strong that it makes money because of real estate and and their other stores di ba ang dami excess ano ginawa bumili ng banko di ba BDO tapos mamaya nangungutang din sila sa banko nila so they were doing things nung hindi na kailangan so when is it time to put it somewhere else when your business does not need it anymore okay now may pera ako pwede ko na ba ilagay yon sa iba hindi pa because my business is not yet mature i will put that when the business is just making so much money then i can venture now yung linagay ko naman doon yung linagay ko sa iba how should i treat that okay lang yan pag mawala yan sobra yan eh okay pero yung iba na importanteng investment because that's 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 the other people na, na nag-invest marbe eh. baka yung mama nako pag nag-invest ako diyan sa akin yung mga mayaman kaya nag-invest sa stocks sa bitcoin kasi mayaman na sila. Hindi na kailangan yun. Pero pag nagpapayaman ka, don't think that those things will make you rich. Okay? Because they're investment. When, well, sorry, Marva. I'm not, I'm not trying to put down yung mga stocks. I'm just saying, like for example, Marv, sabi mo, uh, MP2 can make you 7 to 8%. Okay? If I take that money and put it in my business, I can make more money from that. Diba? Now, when will I put in MP2? I, I will put in, in my money in MP2, Marva. I will. Okay, I have money. Pwede ko na siya kailangan. Okay? So, okay na siya kumita ng 7% kasi mas kailagay ko sa negosyo ko ngayon, hindi na, hindi na, hindi na kailangan ng negosyo. So, lalagay ko sa iba. So, I, 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 hope, I, I, I hope that's clear. I hope that helps. Hmm. But I have, I have a follow-up on that uh, and it goes in line with what you said. No? So, sobrang pera pero like what you said, wala yung skill doon. Uh, do you advise that still? Kasi that's what I've been seeing as the Uh, relevant thing it. Parang, parang nanghihinayang ako that they've already developed a good amount of money dun sa business nila or sa skill nila that if they put more to that they'll, they'll probably earn more still there than putting it into something na wala pa silang experience, wala pa talaga silang skill dun. Then I will put it where it earns more. Hmm. If the business can still grow, I will still put it in the business. Hmm. Pero mga Marv, ang dami-dami mo ng pera na hindi mo na kailangan. Di ba anong gagawin mo? These are all these investment options. But however, I cannot just recommend it to people who are starting. Mm. To people who are starting, I suggest it is easier to make money when you're an employee. And people do not agree with this. Huh? Now, why do I say it's easier to make money when you're an employee? Marv, ito realization ko for the past three to four years. Alam mo, let, let, let me just share with you a story. I went to, naalala mo yung Icon Iloilo? Hmm. Mm. So, diba? It was there. Mm. And there was a friend who asked me to do a seminar for her team, a construction company. At the end of the seminar, the chief engineer asked me in front of his boss, sabi niya, Sir, ano ba talaga ang mas maganda? Maging empleyado or maging negosyante? Kasi feeling ko, ho, mga negosyante lang ang yumayaman. Lugi kaming empleyado. So I asked, sabi ko, ay ay sabi ko pala sabi ko alam ho nyo ang adapt, pag, pag namimili kayo ng opportunity you should always look at the highest rate of return ano highest rate of return return of my money di ba what's the highest return of my money so i ask ano ba pinuhunan mo sa negosyo mo ano ba pinuhunan mo sa trabaho mo namuhunan ka ba sa chief engineer sabi niya wala ho sabi ko can you imagine pag uwi mo mamaya, meron ka siguro isang libo. O sabihin natin, dalawang libo. Kasi chief engineer per day. Zero investment. May dalawang libo. Iyan ang negosyante na mumuhunan pa kami bago kami kumita. Di ba? So which is better? Para sa akin, employment is good because wala ka pang puhunan. You don't need puhunan. And through your employment, if you know how to handle your, handle your money, you can save to have your own business. Para sa akin, the next the next opportunity that makes more money is business. 'Di ba? Bakit? Because I can I can I can take my investment and produce around 20 to 30% profit at the end of the year. Yung sa stocks you are unless you're trading, okay? Ikaw i- 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 iba sa because you're really trading so you can really earn more. But you're trading. Pero when you just put it on stocks on mutual fund, mga 8%. 'Di ba? So which makes more money, business, kesa mutual fund? 
alam mo, if you want to be an entrepreneur, there are two skills that you really need to develop. How to manage money and how to manage people. Ang problema ko, maraming millennials no, gusto maging entrepreneur, pero hindi marunong mag-ipon. Patay ka pag nagnegosyo ka niyan. Kasi business is about saving money to, to protect yourself, to, to earn profit. It's really a discipline na dapat mong matutunan, which I did not have when I began. Music